Hello one, welcome to 2020 Auto Expo. Look where we are and look who we got here with us and uh, let him have us tell us where we are, what you're watching. But before he does that, let me tell you that we drove from the past through the present to the future, which is a great story coming up, being released during our Auto Expo coverage days. Tell them, tell them, tell them this story. It's coming up. OMG, can we just get on with the car that we have at hand and that would be the Tata it would be the Tata X. Yes, HBX. Something that earlier I thought was going to be called as the Hornbill. Before that, the H2X. Yes, but now it is the HBX. Let's get done with the naming game, right? Yes. Let's see how the HBX came to be, okay? So first, there were the SUVs. They were an American idea. The big ones. The really big ones. Big, big Americans big. in big cars in a big space with no corners. Yes. So they didn't really go around corners, but they were really large cars. Then they brought them to Europe and realized, huh, this doesn't fit. Then they had to create mid-size SUVs as we know them today. Yeah. And then they had to get those cars to the markets where people were actually buying cars, markets like ours, developing markets, where they realized they didn't have that much space, but we needed to cram more people into those cars. And we created smaller versions of the original large SUV. I would say cars like the Brezza, the, the, venue. Uh, the Venue, the Creta and all of these cars. But I think the Renault Quid or the Espresso or the Maruti Suzuki Espresso showed us that it was possible to create an even smaller SUV form factor form factor yeah, those jeans but the qualities of a hatchback in some ways yes right as Powerdrift's automotive historian I would appreciate it if you didn't interrupt me so much when these two cars got created I think the idea was born that you could do a genuine SUV that was even smaller and I think that is what the Tata HBX is about it sits on the Altros's platform Okay, look, I'm spouting car names and all, you should be more impressed than that. Well, so, you asked me not to interfere with you, otherwise I would have mentioned it myself. That it has a 1.2 litre Revitron petrol engine churning out, what? 86 PS and 114 Newton meters of torque, is the actual which precise. he thinks was the torque on the CBR 1000R, and I don't think it was. Well, CBR 1000R, a 2008 edition, had 114 Newton meters of torque. This historian, car historian on power drift, should check his motorcycle numbers. But let's come back to the point again. The HBX, like he was rightly saying, it's a great form factor. I quite like the Maruti Suzuki Espresso. I like the Renault Quid too. We recently had a compare going on between them where you were there twice. The HBX is just going to take that game forward. I honestly think Tata Motors is really taking their game forward themselves. Lots of cars being showcased at their pavilion and every succeeding car coming out of Tata Motors stable. They're great to drive, uh, better to drive. They have great interiors, much more comfortable, good quality. And the HBX hopefully is going to follow that suit. I don't really talk about styling because I believe it's a subjective thing. People need to figure out whether they like it or not on their own. But I am going to say that I really like how the HBX looks because the front end split headlamps just like all of their other SUVs look smashing but at the back, the rear, wow! Small little window, big bumper, looks so off-road capable. Uh, the knobby tires, the off-road wheels, they're probably not going to make it to production. So in that sense, it's just like the 390 Adventure. You had to bring in a motorcycle here. I knew he was setting us up for that. Let me set you up for something. The HBX. When I, I did mention it's going to have a 1.2 litre Revitron petrol engine or it's going to have no engine and that would be the HBXE or the HBX H if it was a hybrid, I would love to have the XB HBXH. Can you say that quick enough, faster than Shumi? Let us know in the comment section below. If you can even type it as fast as he's able to not say it, I would give you a cookie of free merchandise coming right your way. Does that sum up our entire coverage of the HBX? Uh, not no, quite, no. because unlike motorcycles, cars actually have interiors and sometimes when you're explaining it on a video, you have to talk about it, Rowan. Oh, yes, so yes. on the inside of the car, there are seats, there's a steering wheel, there will be some sort of a way to communicate information about your speeds and all that. It's usually called a dash. You yeah. would have heard of this concept. I believe that it will be a well fleshed out interior. I believe Apple CarPlay is being touted Obviously. as being there. Oh, Rear parking those things. All right, let's just say the obvious things that he's trying to make fun of me with. Check out the interiors yourself. And since it's such there's, a compact there's a far SUV. more important question that no, no, is wait, waiting wait, to be asked, because which it's is such a compact whether the HBX uh, electric or not. You have to let me speak. If it comes speak. as electric, what happens to the Nexon electric? Because they do have a Nexon electric already out on the roads. Abhi did drive that. And I want to tell you this, that the HBX is going to be sitting one notch or few notches below the Nexon. This car is going to be ready to be had. Ready to be had. When? by year 2021. Oh, ready to be had. You mean it's not going to be on sale. Interesting choice of words there. Now, I did want to tell you that I am told reliably that the HBX will also have a rear parking sense and that's important because it's such a large car and the drivers in India are so good that they will not be able to park the car without it. Well, you don't get the right to comment on any drivers because you don't drive any cars, but then Bro, you I get the right to comment you. and what? If you could get me in a car, I would outdrive you. 
So thanks a lot for watching me here uh, at the 2020 coverage that we are bringing you from Delhi or a little outside Delhi which is the Indian Auto Expo. We were talking about HBX and we're going to be talking about a lot more cars and absolutely no bikes because the Expo has no bikes. See you again. Very yeah, soon. in fact, I thought Goodbye. I would have a really chill job uh, this year at the Auto Expo because there was nothing there. But then I got dragged into some car videos, I don't know. But and then you're doing this. let's make the best of the situation. I do want to ask you a question which I want answers in the comments and we yes. part of it usually watches the comments very closely and we do respond. Yes. Tell us how much smaller can cars get before the SUV form factor becomes uh, a just a styling exercise than a real thing for the driver and owner of this vehicle. How much smaller do you think it can really get? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Do hit the subscribe icon if you haven't. It's really important to us that you do. Uh, hit the bell icon if you want to. It will give you all of the Auto Expo coverage as a notification on your phone. And of course, it means that this man will be on uh, your screen a lot more often. Thank you so much for watching. This is Powerdrift. Uh, that's uh, some guy from Powerdrift and I'm the automotive historian of Powerdrift. Shumi, signing up.